guys. It's Peyton Garver. This is my first video on the channel, so if you could give me support, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Peyton Carver. Um, please subscribe, please leave a like, and please hit that notification bell. Turn on post notifications so you get notified on every video I upload, and um, just enjoy. So, I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time, and it's actually a very big question that I got from one of my friends. One of my friends quoted, or not quoted, but asked me, what's the difference between a ghost and a demon? And I said, oh, no, 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 you do not even know. Okay, so in, today, so in today's video, we're going to talk about the differences between a ghost and a demon, why they are not alike, and why one of the other, and which one is the most dangerous to encounter. So, you all know what a ghost is, you know, spirits, you know, scary stuff, you know, people walking around, the, dead people walking around. No, those are zombies. Zombies are dead people walking around. Ghosts are spirits walking around or floating around, whatever. You know, if you live in cartoon world, they might as well float. And if you live in the real world, they might as well walk. But, um, or levitate, because ghosts, I've seen some videos where ghosts do tend to levitate to get to high to get to high up security cameras and mess with them. Um, ghosts are spirits from the dead um, that most people believe that they have unfinished business, but that's not really true. Well, some of them may have unfinished business, while some of them just, you know, are not free. There are some spirits that are not free and some spirits that are free. If the spirits are free, then they will most likely leave you alone. If the spirits are trapped... In a, in, if, the, if the spirits are trapped in a place, like, let's just say, you moved into a new house, okay? You moved into a creepy old two-story house that is um, said to be haunted because a person, because a person was murdered there by, let's just say, a family member. Well, that spirit could be, it could be a trapped spirit. If the spirit has no energy to be released, or if... Because the spirit may ask you for help. The spirit, if it's if it's if it comes into your room, maybe like stares at you. That means it's pretty much probably curious on who you are. Why are you in my house? Because he's never seen. Because the spirit, the ghost, has never seen you before. Because he because he because the spirit the spirit died before you even moved in the house, so they didn't even know you. So that's why the spirit could be trapped um, looking at you, you know, it, it may appear in front of you as a result of the spirit being curious on who you are, um, what your personality is, what you want to do, or if you're going to be, if you're going to be a tar, maybe if it's a trapped spirit, maybe you'd be a target, but if it was a free spirit, maybe just, you know, be a friend or something, I don't know, I'm not a ghost, I don't really know if, you know, ghosts have friends or ghosts have enemies or targets, but... The one that I really want to get onto is a demon, but we'll get onto that here in a minute because a spirit, a spirit is a, is an apparition. A spirit can can have the forms of many things. A spirit could be an orb. We all know what orbs are. Orbs are the little tiny balls of light that you see floating around on night vision cam that you could see floating around on night vision cameras. Doesn't mean it has to be. It doesn't have to be on a night vision camera, but you can see floating balls of light. Those are called orbs or flashes of light. Those are called orbs, and those orbs are spirits. They may not look like they be spirits, but they actually are spirits. Number two, spirits can take the form of a cloud uh, or mist. A foggy apparition of something moving can be a spirit. You can also, you can always see those on if you want to see those, you can um, get a uh, thermal, pull out a thermal camera, um, not a night vision camera, but a thermal camera, either take a video or take pictures on the thermal, and then maybe if you see a black or a purple mist or whatever color mist, or just like a, just like a, you know, a cloud in your house, then that's probably a spirit. And number three is a human form. No, they're not really, they can't take the form of a real human, like, you know, flesh and skin and blood and all that, but they can take the form, um, they can have the apparition 
of of a human, whatever they come in. Now, my friend also asked me, how can you tell if it's a good spirit or a bad spirit? Well, a good spirit is like I said, it's really wanting to be curious on who you are and what you're doing. <coughs> a good spirit will not cause any problems to you. A good spirit will not be in your kitchen, flinging drawers, flinging pots and pans everywhere. It would not be grabbing, ran it would be, you know, not be grabbing random stuff in your room while you're asleep, like while you're in deep sleep and just moving your stuff around. It won't like throw stuff at you or throw stuff off of your shelf or move your bed. And it won't, you know, you know, do anything to your body. A bad spirit may um, scratch you, uh, claw at you, hurt you, um, probably try to kill you, possess, maybe possess you if it has enough power to possess. A demon, we all know a demon can possess, but I don't know if a spirit, if some spirits may have enough power to possess um, such a human being like us, such humans like us. Um... If it, um, if it breaks your stuff, if it flings stuff off of stuff, if it just makes your house messy, and if it, like, if it, like, if it locks the door behind you or shuts the door, like, I've seen this video where this guy goes into a hotel, or goes into a, a, a dorm room, it's a dorm room, um, he's in college, and his dorm room, his room is haunted, like, severely haunted, his door, I could tell it was a bad spirit, because his door is like, boom, 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 like that, back and forth, it's like shaking, Back and forth, just slamming over and over. It, it scared me. I'm not used to seeing doors go, doom, doom, doom. It always scared me. Doors, doors scare me. Not like that, but like in ghost videos, I'm always watching for the doors. That's what to look for. But, um, go to a haunted place, look for the doors. If you see a door moving on its own, you already know what it is. Don't, uh, you don't even need to question, you just know. And you probably should run, because, um, you don't really know what you're in for. Um... That could be a bad spirit if that does happen. And now we're going to get on to what is a demon. A demon is not a ghost. A demon is not a spirit. A demon is not a human. A demon is a creature or a fallen angel. A demon was once an angel by God, but has fallen into hell. And that's what create. And they wanted... There's. Have you guys ever heard... I don't really know say the name a lot, but, um, his name is Lucifer. He is, he is the devil. He is the main demon of the show. He, um, he was once an angel that he wanted to be king. Am I, I think, I don't remember because last time I took religion class was like eighth grade and I'm in like, or seventh grade and I'm in like ninth. <laughs> um, but, um, <coughs> he's a fallen angel. So that means he's a demon. He doesn't, he, he wants to cause harm to people, and he wants to drag <clears throat> as much people as he, he wants to drag as much people to hell as possible with him. He wants to take people with him to hell instead of letting you guys go up to heaven. That's why you need to pray to God. That's why you need to worship and praise God. Um, that's why you need to go to church. You don't have to go to church, but just try to. If you don't ever go to church, like, because you're too lazy, try to go to church, man. Come on, go to church. If you don't ch if you don't go to church, that could be your one way to heaven. Because when you go to church, you have a strong connection and a bond to God and Jesus. Because you're there in their house, you're there in their presence, and they're watching you. And you're there just praying to them that whatever happens next, you will be okay. The next thing is that a demon would cause harm to you, it would possess you, the demon would try to kill you. If you don't, um, if you don't, if you don't give in to the devil, if the demon, if the devil or a demon is trying to possess you and you don't, or trying to get you to go and follow it and you don't give in, it could possess you and try to kill you. But if you give in, it will give you everything you need to, and it'll take and what I mean by give you everything you need, it'll it'll let you do anything. It'll make you do bad stuff. It'll give you bad stuff. It, it, it might make you do drugs. It might tempt you, or not tempt, but 
it may, he may, if he possesses you, if the demon possesses you, it may persuade you to do drugs, to drink alcohol. If you're underage, a demon would probably do that. A demon would try to make your life harder than it already is. Okay, if, so if your life is hard, just think about it. Hey, there's millions of people out there who could be getting possessed by a demon right now or could have their homes infested with demons. So I would be quiet. And I would stop thinking your life is so hard. So guys... That's the difference between a ghost and a demon. Remember, a ghost um, could take a uh, could take the form of three apparitions: a cloud, a small little mist-like cloud, like fog or smoke, an orb, an orb anomaly, or a human form, or a human body form. That's 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 a ghost. And the ghosts are from dead people who have either who are either trapped or have you know, or have lived freedom that are free, um, or trapped. Um, a demon, and guys, remember, a demon is a non-human, non, you know, non-human thing. It's a creature that wants to possess you or try to kill you and drag as much people as they can to hell along with them. And they want to take you away from God. Ghosts don't want to take you away from God. That's the demon's job is to take you away from God. But if you guys remember, if, if you guys are smart, then you would know that you are to follow God and not the devil. If you follow the devil, I'm not. If one of my friends started following the devil, I'm never going to become friends with them again. I'm going to leave them. But if they, it's lucky, but I'm cool. I'm cool. Because they're around here following God. They know what to do. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit a like. Hit the like button. Donkey kick that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get notified on every video I upload. And thanks for watching my first video on the channel. Uh, ghost, difference between a ghost and a demon. And have a nice day.